So in 2007, um, I was diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease, uh, which is an inherited uh, disease. So um, I found out then and was told by my physician at some point in time that I would need a kidney transplant. As they were talking about it, the, the idea of um, building a chimerism um, and not having to be on immunosuppressant drugs was, I think, the biggest appeal uh, to the whole thing. And so they talked about, you know, the process. Um, but the most important thing, honestly, was having a donor, who is my sister, who is willing to actually go through the extra steps um, to make that process happen. And she immediately said yes. I actually feel fantastic. And, and I feel like I did before, actually, which is the, you know, the great thing. And, it's been, it's been quite surreal, right? Because it's almost like it didn't happen, right? And so if I feel good, I'm out golfing, have grandchildren now, and everything, it's been wonderful. And they, they were actually surprised when they got the results back because they said they thought maybe we were twins because our numbers were so compatible. And then he was at the lake with my parents. He, him and his wife and family were up there. And um, I got to call him and tell him that I was a match. So that was pretty exciting. Right after the surgery, to see him, he actually had color in his face. He was like just gray and just, you know, he just didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. And so to have him bounce back and, yeah, he looked better right away. And after the initial, I don't know how many months of you mm -hmm. getting back on your feet, mm -hmm. it's just good. He's got to see both his daughters get married. He has grandchildren now and never had to go on dialysis. Mm -hmm. Kidney transplant patients, all of them have to be on immunosuppression lifelong. And although the medicines uh, really work quite well, there are side effects uh, for those medicines. Uh, one of them, it suppresses your immune system, so you uh, have less ability to respond to infections, or even cancers can grow because your immune system, which would normally suppress the cancer, is not as good at suppressing the cancer as it was before. You have to take those medicines to prevent rejection, so it's important, but it's a balance. The donors not only donate a kidney, but they're donating part of their uh, bone marrow cells. Uh, they're called hematopoietic stem cells, and uh, what the donor has to do is the donor comes in and they're given a medicine to mobilize those cells out of their bone marrow into the bloodstream, and then they're collected uh, via uh, the vein, into, and, and we collect those and those can go and be frozen down and processed. And uh, that um, hematopoietic stem cell or bone marrow is part of the transplant. So the donor has to come in and do this one procedure to donate the um, stem cells. And then they go back home and the cells then are processed, cleaned up and purified. And um, there's a specific ratio of bone marrow cells and also some of their T cells that's actually reinfused into the recipient. The recipient goes through something very similar to a bone marrow transplant uh, protocol in that um, they uh, get medicines to decrease their um, uh, white blood cell count so that there is actually room for the uh, donor bone marrow to actually engraft for a period of time. If we had just taken these people off immunosuppression, virtually none of them uh, would have uh, come off without a problem. They would have all had a rejection episode and uh, had been put back in immunosuppression. That's the previous experience that we've had Thousands of people have stopped their medicines, let's be real, through the years. And um, in, in kidney transplant, it's, it's not a good story. Uh, the end result is most of those people have rejection and lose their kidneys. I've been in transplant now for just a little over 30 years, uh, 27 of them here at Mayo. And um, actually, we've done quite a few amazing things in our research efforts here. We've been very fortunate, and we continue to do so. Uh, but in the scheme of things, uh, this tolerance protocol is right up there at the very top. Of, um, uh, it's, it's, it's been a goal, uh, sort of the holy grail of transplant for longer than I've been doing this.